Jordan with tonight's news. Two trains left the same station at different times on parallel tracks. The first train achieved a speed of 60 miles per hour. The next one left an hour later, traveling at 80 miles per hour. Train B passed train A without incident. Breaking news. We have an Amber Alert, and authorities say X is missing. X is described as 30 inches tall and red, and is known to associate with Y. It is unclear how long X has been missing. For more on this story, here's Melissa. Tonight in our in-depth mystery series, we will probe into the disappearance of X. Constantly missing and found again by countless algebra students, X has once again vanished, disappeared without a trace. To solve the mystery of X, I visited a typical American high school filled with students who search for X daily. needs to be found next. Here we are on the social studies hallway, searching to find if anyone cares about missing X. I don't miss X. You know, social studies guy, I don't think I really miss X that much. Oh, it's been a minute since I had an X, and I left all my X's in Texas, and I hang my head in Georgia. <laughs> Well, yesterday at practice, I was showing up a new play, okay? So we're here running the 2-3 defense, okay? And the issue with the 2-3 defense is, as you have these hexes, you also have these O's. When I draw these plays up, unfortunately, the kids don't understand who's who because I say, you're this person, and they think they're this person. My name is Heidi Arwood, and today I'm going to talk to you about the history of algebra. Algebra can be simply defined as doing computations with non-numeric mathematical objects. A Persian mathematician named Muhammad Musa al khwarizmi wrote what we call a book around 830 AD, and it consisted of theories related to balancing equations and combining like terms. The algebra that you're familiar with was created at the end of the 16th century by a man named Francois Vietze. My ex, my ex boyfriend? No, math ex. Oh, ooh, math ex. Um, about a decade ago. The last time I had to find X is when we were in college and we were doing laundry and he took my basket of all my clothes and I have not seen him since. I would love it if X was found. It would make my day. <laughs> investigation has led us here to the math hallway and the esteemed Dr. Shirley. Maybe he will tell us what happened to X. So why is X important? Why do I need to worry about X? We have a problem. You're playing baseball. You're hitting the baseball at about three feet off the ground. Okay? And the baseball is going to do this. X represents, when I say this is equal to zero, X represents when the baseball hits the ground. And so I can solve this by graphing it, plugging it into a calculator, determine what that is. I find that X is approximately 8.0234. What does that mean? It means 8.0234 seconds after you hit the ball, the ball will actually hit the ground. So it's important to be able to find X. Whether you're doing math in a classroom or whether you're doing math in real life and trying to determine something in regards to baseball, football, any of the sports. Uh, Melissa, um, X isn't missing. 
X is found. X was never missing. Oh. Stand by. Camera one. Take camera one. There you have it, folks. X was never missing. It has always been a part of our everyday lives. Back to you, Jordan. Thank you, Melissa. That was great news. Now, on to I.